One thing that people seem to get in a real tiz about in the kitchen is selecting and preparing fresh fish, but you know what, it's an absolute cinch. Um, I've gone for some fresh mackerel here. So one thing to look out for is this really lovely clear bright eye, but it's not the only indicator because quite often what happens is um, the ice that the fish get packed in touches the eye and can create a bit of freezer burn so it does dull the eye down a little bit. This is why you need to get friendly with your fish moth because you need to get really up close to the fish and take a good look at it. Um, a really good way of telling if it's fresh is you look at the gills here and you can see that fantastic deep, deep red colour and that's a really good indicator. As well as that, look at the markings on the, the mackerel. It's absolutely stunning, really vibrant. And if you can, touch the fish and it should feel really firm, no wrinkling, nothing, and it's all good to go. Right, so if you decide to clean the fish at home, um, by all means, get your fishmonger to do it for you. But if you fancy giving it a go, it's really, really simple. First of all, take hold of the fish and really sharp, lovely um, filleting knife with a very thin blade. Just pop it into the fish, run it all the way down like that, right up. To, the, to its head and open it up. Now actually it's easier if you just get your hands in there to so just pull all of that out and get a teaspoon and that means you can just kind of get those bits there out quite easily and that's it. And now what I do is just take that to the sink and run that under the sink, pat it dry with kitchen paper and you're done. What I'm going to do is um, just make a slit just in front of that gill on both sides, turn it over like that um, now some people do actually take the head off at this stage, but I find it easier because you've got something to hold on to. So running the knife down the fish, trying to stay as close to the bone as you can, just move the knife down. There we go. And the trick when you're filleting fish is just to go as slow as possible. You don't have to rush it, just take your time. Just undo that. And you end up with a lovely fillet. Just get that off there. Um, and what you need to do is you see along there you've got some bones just running along there. Just get some tweezers and take the bones out. Take your time with that. Once you're happy, just trim it up like that just to neaten it up a little bit. And there it is, it's ready to go.